Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Daily Devotions. Our daily devotion for today, Thursday, April the 1st, Maundy Thursday, comes to us from the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter, verses 1 to 17 and 31b to 35. <clears throat> Now, before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you Have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was to betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet and put on his robe and had returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. But if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Very truly, I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. On this holy day, this Monday, Thursday, When Christ washed his disciples' feet and gave them bread and wine 
to remember himself. We pause. We pause to remember in awe both for what Christ has done for us and for the charge he has given us. We have been washed clean through and through by our Lord and Master who took on the role of a servant that we might be freed from all that would keep us away from God. Such a gift beyond all understanding. What does this gift, this washing, mean to us? That as followers of Jesus, we might put aside our ambitions, our strivings, all that we think brings us glory, and become servants, to those who need us. Not out of obligation or striving do we do this, but solely in gratitude for the one who loved us so much. We are freed to serve. Let us pray. O oh Lord, give us the heart of a servant and wash us through and through. Amen. God's grace and peace be with you this day and every day. And I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow on Good Friday.